Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to set up SFML on a Mac. We have a separate video to cover it for Visual Studio on Windows. We're going to be using Xcode for Mac and we're going to be linking it relatively so that way you'll just be able to move your folder to wherever you want to another, to another part of your computer or even to another system altogether as long as you have well, Xcode installed. So the first thing you want to do is go to the sfml-dev.org website, there'll be a link in the description, go to download, go to the latest stable version, for me it's 2.4.1, for whatever version you're using this video should apply. So you want to go to Mac OS X, just click download, I've already got it downloaded, it's in my download directory, or it was. I'll just download it again, it's only 5 megs. And that's almost done now. Once that downloads, we are actually going to extract it. So just double click it. That extracts it right here. I'm going to rename it to SFML because it'll just be easier linking it this way once it's renamed, otherwise, it's just going to be a lot of effort to type that in. We will just open up Xcode now. You want to create a new Xcode project. Select command line tool on the Mac OS. Click next. For the product name, you want to put, actually you can put whatever you want. I'm just going to put SFML tutorial. I'm going to put SFML tut. Short for tutorial. Team, you can select a team if you want to. Organize identifier. I'm happy with that. Make sure for the language you select C++. Click next. Save it wherever you want. I'm going to save it onto my desktop. Now, before you can actually start coding, you need to link up SFML to your project. Before we do that, what you need to do is copy this folder that we extracted and renamed to the SFML tut folder. So it's here where the .xcode proj file is. Once you've pasted it there, actually, I'm going to paste it within another folder or move into another folder called external libraries this way it just sets up our project directory nicely so if you do want to add more external libraries you can easily do that without having any clutter up the main root directory it will just be organized nicely within here you could organize it further as well you want to go to your xcode project you want to go to click project here go to build settings make sure you've selected all combined Type in search and in search you want to go to header search path, double click it, click plus, you want to type in dollar curly brace src root which stands for source root and you want to put forward slash. Now that is actually referring to your Xcode project directory, I mean your project directory where your .xcode proj folder was. So you can just put external libraries for slash sfml like so for slash include. Now the actual header files have been all linked up and we can use them in our code now. And as you can see it's linked it up very nicely. This isn't a absolute path, it's a relative path. So if we were to move it, it would update accordingly. Go to build phases, link binary with libraries, click plus. You just want to click add over, navigate to your external libraries folder, go to SFML, go to lib, and you want to select all the .dy libs. Not the ones with this little arrow, let me zoom in so you can see what this arrow looks like. That's just an alias you want, one without the arrow. Should be five different ones, audio, graphics, network, system, and window. Click open, and now in your main.cpp, we can start coding our application. We're just going to do a very, very simple one just to get this all set up and running. So, first of all, you want to do hash include, and if we coded it properly or set up our project properly, we type in sfml forward slash. Oh, nothing's appearing, but I think that's just a Xcode issue where it hasn't updated some of the internals because it didn't pick up anything so if I put HPP it should not get an error if it does we'll figure it out and fix it. I'm going to do int main 
int main. You want to create a render window, which is what the user will see and which is what all of our objects will be rendered to. For ff render window, I'm going to call it window. It, this takes two parameters, the first being the SF video mode. This now takes two parameters as well, which is the width and the height. So I'm going to put 640 by 480. And then I'm going to put awesome game. So this is the actual title of our application, which is what will appear up here. Now it's going to be while window dot is open so while it's open this is where the application will reside mainly you're going to put sf event we're only going to handle one event in this video it's important that you handle other events such as keyboard events mouse events potentially re window resizing events only event we're going to handle is polling on the window for a closing because otherwise you have to force close it essentially do while window dot poll event you pass in the event that you're polling, so which is event. You want to switch on event dot type, and now you want to do case sf event closed. So when the application is being closed, you want to do window dot close. Not clear. Close. like so, I'm going to put a break as well and then finally outside of the window poll while loop what we want to do, we're just going to add a few empty lines so it's easier for us to move up and down, we're going to do window dot clear and this just basically clear the contents of the window we would draw objects here then we would display the wind the new object so window dot display here we would handle handle all events that should be all then based on any events let's say maybe you click the up key use the character you would now update the game so if we run this now we should get a window that appears on our screen so that is our window so this has just been a very simple video to set up sfml on a mac using xcode if you have any questions feel free to post them on our educational platform sonarlearning.co.uk there will be a link in the in the description along with a link to the github page which will provide all of the source code and this project as well so you can just download it and just run it without even having to set up if you like the video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment and as usual thanks for watching and i hope you have a great day